All right, everybody. Well, it's uh, take whatever this is, and I'm going to be uh, finishing up wet sanding the uh, guitar today. Going to uh, hit this thing with. Let's see. I think I'm going to be starting off at about 1,500, and then uh, I should be uh, stopping at around 3,000 by the time I get it all done. So uh, I'll be back. Right on. So I'm uh, wet sanding this. I'm at uh, 2,000 grit right now. And I was just going to uh, wipe it off and see what it looked like right now. It's coming out really nice. It might be a little hard to see that in the uh, in the film here, but definitely coming out very nice so I'm going to uh, finish cleaning this up I'm gonna flip it over do the back and uh, do the sides with uh, 2000 and then I've got this uh, this uh, one last step believe it or not 3000 grit it's kind of a spongy uh, abrasive so uh, it should come out really nice on this uh, on the very last pass so when I get done with the back and the sides with the 2000, I'll come back and let you check it out. Alright, so I had to let the, uh, well, I didn't have to let, I had to clean the uh, buffing pads off before I uh, did any buffing. So I'm waiting for those to dry. I thought I would uh, sand down the neck. Uh, right now, it's at, uh, where did I just toss away? Uh, 1,000 grit paper. This thing is really smooth. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep on going on this. I've got, uh, I think I've got 2,000 grit, uh, which will be the uh, the next and final. And then I got to uh, do a, what do you want to call it? Uh, I got to wet this thing down and uh, raise the grain and then re-sand it all. So that's uh, that's what I'm going to be doing to the neck. When I wet it down, though, you'll be able to see what the uh, what the wood tone is going to look like, and that'll be a big uh, determination if I keep it wood tone or paint the headstock. So uh, the experiment continues. Right on. So I just uh, finished uh, sanding the neck. Uh, I stopped at about fifteen hundred on the neck. Uh, and then wet it down and I'm letting the grain raise up. Uh, I did the same thing on the headstock here. You can see it kind of uh, darkened up the wood a little bit compared to uh, what it looks like down there. But I still think, at least on the front side, I'm going to have to do some paint on that to uh, match up with the guitar. So that's going to be uh, a lot of fun. And I'm not really saying it's going to be a lot of fun because it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> So uh, that's what's going on. I'm letting this dry and I'm waiting for the uh, the uh, compounding pads to dry up before I start putting uh, compounding compound <laughs> on the on the on the surface here. So that might be it for today. Uh, I'll be back later.